love to be playing Dragon Ball. So, yeah, it's, uh, Shane used to play a lot, but I think recently he's been a little bit MIA. Uh, I think he still plays Tekken, though, yeah. Well, good Smash on him player now. to, uh, you know, team up with Shoxy. That's cool. Round one. Well, it's just a brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're brothers. <clears throat> okay, we got Laura Seth. You know, droid, I would just rush this guy down, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just rush him down. Oh. Can't anti her, come on. Oh, sorry, too biased. I shouldn't be biased. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Watch him anti -air. Never mind, don't, don't screw up, please. Don't screw up, he might be good. Please. Alright, okay. Actually, Shane is a very talented player. He doesn't really play Street Fighter as much as he used to, but he's really talented. He's just like him and Choxy actually really just naturals at video games. I think oh, come, uh, fighters. I think he's very natural. Sometimes they make like really both of them. They make some really weird decisions, like the one I said earlier. I don't like when you play against players like that. It's better to not think about how they're thinking because it'll just frustrate you and it'll make you play worse. So if you don't understand somebody else's decision making, focus on your own decision making more so and focus on uh, risk awareness and risk mitigation. That's probably the best. The moment they have you thinking about what they're doing, you've already lost the mind game. The moment you're like, man, like, why did he do that there? And then he just command grabbed you like three times, you know? Honestly, through my experience, sometimes I don't think that hard during the match. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, that's that's it, good. And yeah, it depends on who you're playing. It, yeah. it depends on who or and what matchup. Okay, Shane takes it the second round. Like, come on, Droid man. Let's. He doesn't. Even, this guy doesn't even play this game, man. So you, you got you got a lot of these players, right? Like back in the day, they're like, you know, when they play the game, they beat you or they lose to you. They'll say the same thing. It's like, oh, I don't play this game. I haven't played this game for like a month or haven't they played this game for like three years? You know, everyone says that, right? But if you lose to these guys, what are you gonna do? You're gonna cry about it? I don't think so, right? You just gotta, you just gotta hold it. You know what I mean? So. It's Honestly, fine. I just, just roll win. my eyes and feel like I yeah, just, beat your butt. It's the same. Yeah, just win. <laughs> exactly, just win. But I'm just saying that's a timeless, timeless oh, thing to say. Yeah. Everyone says that. Droid! Droid, don't get antsy. He has almost full meter. Don't let him do it. Fierce? Damn, got those. Oh, misses the. I don't know what he was going for there, but wake up buttons though, takes it. Okay, alright, we got one on the board for Droid. I don't know, I just I just don't feel right playing this character. It's like against my morals just a little bit, but man, he's good. I like this character sometimes, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I, I enjoy sleeping on so. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, his uh, low jab is really good because nice. I'm waiting for those commands, yeah. <laughs> but he's got the spacing down. <laughs> Sorry, that's dicks. So that you saw that mix up? That, that that's just plain dick, dude. Sorry. As long as you have your trigger, you're bullshit. That's dick. <laughs> I sold dicks, bro. Look at that. Plus all day he has trigger. Oh, I, think, I feel buffer. like it's, it's another thing to pay attention to your enemies. There, that was for you. Oh my dear lord. You 
Yeah, I, I forgot to charge up there. I was gonna say, oh, whatever. <laughs> I actually tried to charge up, but I I messed up the execution. And I got like a medium punch or something. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah.